Hello, thank you for joining me. This is Tyler with Phoenix Custom Systems. Today I'm going to show you how to download and use your NVMS 7000 app for your smartphone or your tablet. So first thing we need to do, of course, is download the app. Um, so you can go to your Play Store or your Apple Store, whatever it is, and you're going to search for NVMS 7000. Looks just like this one, not the HD one, but this one. There is a bit of a difference. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and install this. Accept. Obviously, if you have an Apple, you'll have to put in your password to download it, your app. And once it installs, we're going to go ahead and open it up. And the first thing going you do is enter your region. So this is only the first time that you open up your app. This little pencil over here on the right-hand side of region, we'll hit that. We're going to hit America. Go down to USA, and we're going to hit Enter. Now from there, on the top left, these two little boxes on the top left, we're going to hit that, and then we're going to go down to Devices. So the top right now, the little suitcase with the plus, we're going to hit that, and then we're going to hit Manual Adding. Alias is whatever you want to call it. Home, work, shop, whatever it is that you're putting this in for. Your address is going to be your DDNS. I gave you this. Um, it's specific to your system. So do not put in what I'm putting in here. This is just uh, for demo uh, purposes. So um, address for me. I'm on my local network. And my username and password, again, these are unique to your system. So go ahead, put these in. Um, now, the port should stay 8,000 unless I told you otherwise. So what we're going to do now in the top right over here, this little disk, we're going to hit that. And it's going to save it. It's going to tell you how many cameras you have right there. Camera number 11. And then I'm going to go down here to the bottom and hit Start Live View. So what I did, it went to one of my cameras that I have audio on, um, and if I wanted to mute that, this little speaker button right down here, turns it on, turns it on. Okay. Um, now, if I have more than just four cameras, we have a three by three view, and we have a four by four view, depending on how many cameras you have. All right. Now, um, Let's just click on this one here, one of my side cameras. So it, it's, it looks crappy right now, but it's fluent is what it is. So it gives you better motion um, and less lag, especially if you have a slow network. Um, so to get that clear, what we do is we have this little TV screen down here at the bottom. If we hit that, you get clear, fluent, and custom. We're going to hit clear, and it's going to give us a much better picture. And when you're done, you just hit that uh, little TV screen again takes takes uh, that out of the picture and then um, I can show you some of these other functions we got here um, we got this little camera at the bottom left that'll take a snapshot of whatever you're looking at at that time and save it to um, your phone so this one right here takes a picture save it to your phone you can send it to police or whatever um, you also have record here it'll start recording um, from the time that you push it and then when you stop it and then it will save it to your phone now that little R in the top left is going to let you know that it is recording whatever you're doing right now. All right. Um, this button right here is your PTZ. We'll come back to that here in a second. That little stop hand just stops the current uh, camera that you're on um, from your viewing. It doesn't stop it altogether. It just stops it from your viewing on this device. Um, so you have this little magnifying glass. And, and by the way, this thing here, you just swipe back and forth and it goes from uh, one to the other. Um, so this little magnifying glass right here, that's going to enable our pinch to zoom feature. So if we hit that and then we can pinch to zoom and then you just move it around in the photo, wherever you want to go and see pinch to zoom. All right. When you're done, hit that magnifying glass again, brings you all the way back out and then you can uh, hit your three by three or your four by four. Um, and it'll bring this up for you. Um, so I want to show you a couple PTZ functions from your phone or tablet. So this is my PTZ. Go ahead and mute the sound so you can hear me talk. Um, and what I'm doing, I'm going to double tap it. 
Um, let's go ahead and make sure it's on clear. And then I'm gonna hit this little joystick here. Now right now it's set up on a pattern that I told it to do. But if I wanna take control of it anytime I hit that little joystick and then I can move it any which way I want to. Okay, pretty cool. Now, let's say I wanted to check out that fire hydrant because I think it's leaking or whatever. Um, you have this little circle with the three triangles in it right here. If we hit that, that's my zoom. So plus is zoom in. And then it will autofocus for you. And then if you touch the screen again, it'll bring your joystick back. so that you can move it and, and fine tune it to what you're trying to do here. All right, and then if we wanna zoom in further, we can go ahead and zoom in further until we see what we wanna see. Just to give you an idea how clear these PTZs really are, I mean, they are phenomenal because they have that autofocus feature, so it's gonna be one of your best cameras in your lineup. Also, this PTZ has a 300, um, and 94 foot IR range so that means that the lights brighten up in the dark so when you're trying to focus on something in the dark it just lights up that section that you're looking at um, it's just it's awesome um, okay so that's it for the, the zoom in the zoom out now let's say I'm done I see what I wanted to see um, this little circle <clears throat> uh, right over here on the far right this one right here I just lit up the blue one what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to go to 41 because that's a preset I have. And then I hit call. And then it's going to automatically go right back to my preset, which is basically scanning my entire, entire neighborhood. So then from there, I just I leave it alone and it's going to do what it's programmed to do until I tell it not to do it anymore. All right. So I'll go ahead and hit off this function. Um, now, what I uh, want to show you next <clears throat> is a remote playback. So... Um, before we dive into to remote playback, um, you have this little top right button over here. So if you had uh, multiple locations, if you had a business and your home and you know wherever else, you'd have them all lift, listed as different systems. But if I hit home, I can go in here. Everything that is blue highlighted are the cameras that are going to show up. So let's say I wanted to, I had three different systems and I wanted to see these cameras, and then I would go to my work and I would say I want to see these cameras and so on and so forth up to 16 once I got those then I can go down here to start live view and it would show cameras from all my different systems now on the NVMS 7000 app on your computer you can view up to like 164 or something crazy like that uh, 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 all at the same time from different places as well so um, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit this and I want to go ahead and just get them all back on there I'll hit start live view. Now, um, next thing I'm going to show you is remote playback. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to this top left. And then uh, this is basically where all your apps are, is what I would call them. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to remote playback. And then I'm going to hit the, uh, the plus button. I'm going to pick my from. So you got year, month, day, time 1359 that's that'll be the time so that'll be your from and then you go do the same thing at two and then you'd hit the two button again and then it'll bring back up your home and then you could say i want to see what happened to the game room camera and then as you skip this it'll go to, uh, your motion so then you do that stop that one by hitting that little stop sign we'll go do another one um, so I do my from, my to again, then I'm going to hit home, and then I'm going to say, let's see what happened at the, uh, uh, let's do, let's do the side camera. Now also I can double click this, and how I have my system set up is it records 5 seconds before, 30 seconds after. Um, if it continues to see motion, it's just going to continue to record. Now again, these little tick marks are your movement. So you just move it, move this thing back and forth, and you slide to wherever you want, let go, it'll go to the next motion, and go ahead and start playing that. Now let's say I see something, you know, something happened, I want to send this to the police or whatever. You have this little scissors down here, so if you hit that, it's going to start clipping. And you see that little record in the top left come back. 
Now that's going to go ahead and start recording um, for whatever length I need to record. When it's done, I hit the scissors again. Um, and again, that clip is saved to my phone. And then I can just shoot that off of the police. It's an MP4. The best program to use to view these is called uh, uh, VLC Player. That is Victa, Victa, Victor, Lima, Charlie. VLC Media Player. It's free download. Download it um, on your phone, on your computer. And that is the best program to use to view these. Um, so back to this, if you see, let's say, um, I just seen uh, uh, something happen right here and I wanted to take a picture of that, this little picture, little camera with a picture next to it, you gotta take a snapshot, again, save it to my phone. Let's go ahead and hit play. Now you also have this right here. This is your one times, um, two times, four times. So you can sit here and fast forward. And then also if you wanna slow it down, you can go as far as 1 16th, uh, per frame so that's going to slow it down so you can see frame by frame exactly what happened all right um, so if we had audio on this we can pause and, and and have the audio come back up and then switch from clear to custom as well all right so that does it for the uh, viewing the playback um, In here, if you ever need to change your, your Wi-Fi settings <clears throat> or your uh, if you wanted to password protect this app, you could go in there and pre uh, make it so that there's a, you have to put a password in to get to this app. Um, you don't really need to do with anything with PT Cloud. Pictures and videos, these are all the ones that have been saved. So you can go in here and go straight in and play these if you need to. So this is going to play, obviously, the clip I was just showing you. So everything's saved with inside your your app. Make it nice and connected. All right. Um, that pretty much concludes. If I've left anything out or anything unanswered, uh, please write in and let me know. Um, I'll make corrections. Um, thank you for watching the video. Hope you have a great day.